Yes, stop. It's unusual to see so many people in such an angry state, isn't it? What happened there? Why did the corners of the boxers put up a real fight? To find out the answers to all these questions, let's fast forward to 1996, when one of the most controversial fights in heavyweight history took place. On this evening of boxing, an uncompromising duel took place between Riddick Bow and the undefeated Polish boxer Andrzej Golota. And as a result, the show ended with 16 arrests and injuries of 22 people. And just the same, the very moment of chaos that we showed you at the beginning of the video is happening precisely after the sudden stop of this legendary meeting. But let's talk about everything in order and first find out who Andre Galota is, and why Riddick Bo and all boxing fans are so angry at him. History knows a lot of quite interesting boxers from Poland, and Galota was one of those who became widely known outside the country and performing out of home. Andre was a four-time amateur national champion, a bronze medalist at the 1989 European Championships and, not least, a bronze medalist at the 1988 Olympic Games in Seoul. He deservedly received the status of a bright puncher and by the time of the meeting with Bo had a perfect professional record of 28 wins, 0 losses, 25 of which were by knockout. There were all the prerequisites for an interesting boxing evening, but the result exceeded even the wildest expectations. Riddick Bo was the undisputed favorite of the meeting, because in the previous fight he knocked out Evander Holyfield, completing the trilogy in his favor. That Holyfield absorbed through most of the last two rounds, indeed much of the last three rounds, he was almost out in round number 10. Surprisingly, there were no belts at stake. By the beginning of 1996, Mike Tyson, Bruce Seldon and Michael Moore held the main titles. But the latter two were not regarded as a serious threat, and Bo and Lennox Lewis were considered the leaders of the division, in addition to Tyson. It was expected that while Mike continued to unify the belts and meet with Holyfield, Bo and Lewis would find out the best between themselves, but before that, Riddick needed a warm-up fight. Andre Galota was perfect for the punching bag. Also by that time, Bo was in conflict with the WBC leadership, who permanently excluded the boxer from their ratings, after a scandalous press conference, where Bo defiantly threw the prestigious WBC title into the trash. Whatever the case, the 29-year-old was back in the title race and a win over Galota would almost guarantee him a title fight. Bo promised that after meeting with Galota he would face off against Mike Tyson and his offender in the 1988 Olympic final Lennox Lewis. Despite the beautiful Galota record and the expectation of decent resistance from Andre, the experts still expected the victory of Bo, who over the years of his professional career had much tougher opposition than the Polish. However, the fight did not immediately go according to the script of the American. Galota turned out to be faster than the opponent and outright won the shootout with jabs. Then Bao decided to cut at close range. The larger Andre accepted these conditions, although he previously looked good at a distance, which is why he began to miss Riddick's attacks. But at the same time, he not only held the blow, but also managed to be more accurate in uncomfortable conditions for himself. By the third round, the Polish increasingly began to connect uppercuts and this became the key moment of the hot battle. In one of the episodes, Galota struck Bao below the belt and the referee issued a verbal warning to the offender. This did not affect Andre, in the fourth three-minute period, he again hit the most vulnerable place for men, and this time Riddick felt the blow, almost falling to the canvas. One point was deducted from the Polish, the American got time to recover. The degree of confrontation continued to grow and Bo was clearly losing. But this did not make Galota fight more rationally. At the end of the sixth round, he again hit low and was penalized, and the unfortunate Bao was a pity to look at. The outcome of the tragicomedy came in the last minute of the seventh round. 
Galota again struck below the waist to an exhausted opponent. The American fell, and the referee decided to disqualify the malicious violator and give the victory to Riddick. After that, something unimaginable began in the ring. One of the representatives of the American team ran into the square and pushed Galota in the back. Andre immediately responded to the offender with a left hook and this started a chain reaction. Another supporter of Bao began to hit the Polish with a walkie-talkie on the head, which led to the injury of the boxer. As a result, a real mess was brewed in the ring. The 74-year-old coach of Galota, Lou Duva, who was eventually taken out of the epicenter of events on a stretcher, also fell under the distribution. The fight turned into a confrontation between the fans of both boxers. As a result, law enforcement officers arrested 10 people, 9 were hospitalized, 8 more people were injured by the police. In December of the same 1996, the rivals held a revenge. This time Riddick promised to prepare better. But the Polish outplayed the ex-world champion again. In the second round, Golota knocked down Bo, but in the fourth three-minute period, Riddick repaid the opponent with the same coin. In the fifth segment, Andre organized a second knockdown for the enemy with powerful attacks, it seemed that the denouement was close, but the American kept, on moral and strong-willed. A bright battle ended in the ninth three-minute period. Galota squeezed the opponent and threw out multi-hit combinations, soon again breaking below the belt. The referee stepped in and stopped the fight. Galota, like the first time, was disqualified, and Bo, lying in the ring, was declared the winner. The corresponding decision was made fairly, during the entire meeting, Andre violated the rules, butted, hit below the belt and was regularly punished by the judge. Bao's victory was Pyrrhic. He soon announced his retirement at 29, not even at his peak age for heavyweights. Eight years later, he resumed performances, but Riddick had already lost his speed, reaction and instincts. After three insignificant victories in four years, he again hung up his gloves on a nail. As for Golota, the Polish gave the world of boxing many more scandals. And the results of the confrontation with Bao, despite the de jure defeat, gave him a title fight with Lennox Lewis. However, he did not realize that chance, losing by knockout in the first round.